Hi. I want to welcome you to part two of our cholesterol chat. Mm -hmm. We were talking in between videos about the importance of learning about cholesterol and the truths of it. And I just want to start by expressing my concerns about the side effects mm -hmm. that we see in these television commercials when they advertise for different types of medications. Out of a 60 second commercial, you may have 30 to 45 seconds mm -hmm. worth of side effects. Why are there so many side effects? Well, one thing is I think because when we look at the cholesterol aspect, we really don't understand it. And what you gotta understand is that when you do take a medication, what it does, it tries to manipulate the body and how it actually functions. Mm -hmm. Well, you can actually affect the heart in what they call a positive way, get it into a normal range value of what they want, but what they forget, they don't look at it like we talked about our Swiss watch principle. They don't look at it as a whole, so it'll affect the liver, it'll affect the kidneys in a mm -hmm. negative way, and that's why I see such major side effects. But like mm -hmm. you talked about, let's go into detail a bit more about the cholesterol because it is such a huge topic, mm -hmm. especially among males, which is really kind of um, a concern to me too, is now they're moving into the female realm even mm -hmm. more. Now, for example, let me start off saying cholesterol is essential for life, okay? If you do not have it, you will die. It's that simple. Because what happens is, is the fact that if we just really even Google just cholesterol or Google LDL and HDL, and actually what I did is I just printed out a little bit about so we can actually read them to understand that this is basic knowledge, basic physiology. So when you start to change that physiology, well, of course, you're going to have negative side effects, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So if we just even look at cholesterol itself, Cholesterol, for example, if you cut your finger, you need to make new cells to be able to repair that. Mm -hmm. So cholesterol levels have to be there for us to be able to produce cells. If it's not, you can have a delayed wound healing capability. Mm -hmm. If you don't have cholesterol, you can't produce steroid hormones. Now that's essential for women. You know, for example, if you look at the fat-free diets and all the things that are coming on, women are starting to avoid that. And you look at even these young girls nowadays and the cyclic problems and the psychological problems they're having because you, know, you don't have hormones, that's a whole nother topic right there. Yeah. But what I did was actually I just printed out because the, the misconception that we talked about in the last video, if you even look at a standard blood test, it'll go cholesterol, triglycerides, HDL, LDL, and they focus so much on the HDL and LDL as good and bad cholesterol, but what about the true cholesterol that's up above there? Mm -hmm. And so my question always is, well, if LDL is bad and HDL is good, what's the cholesterol? Mm -hmm. And they kind of stand there, and even when they, and, and one thing I encourage you, ask your doctor that. And they'll say, well, that's your total cholesterol. That makes no sense because cholesterol is your cholesterol mm -hmm. and HDL and LDL are carrier proteins. Now, if you look, even the definition in the encyclopedia, uh, LDL is a type of lipoprotein that transports cholesterol from the liver to tissues of demand. Mm -hmm. Now, what does that mean, tissues of demand? Well, let's even take like a woman, for example. When a woman hits their female cycle, mm -hmm. they need to produce hormones. If hormones are produced from um, cholesterol, what has happened to LDL levels? Down? No, totally opposite. They have to go up. Oh, they ha yeah, yeah, they, they have, have to go, go up right. because mm -hmm. LDL has to transport cholesterol to the organ. Let's say it's to the ovary. The ovary will actually take that cholesterol, produce a hormone out of it, and then of course what ends up happening is the fact that when it, when that is used and there's stuff left over, HDL will grab that and bring it back to the liver, and that's why they call HDL good because it's going to grab certain cholesterols within the blood and bring it back to the liver to be recycled, destroyed, eliminated, or whatever it needs to do that way. Okay. Um, but the one thing about it is, so you think about it, it's really a cyclic pattern. Right. Anytime that there's a demand for a hormone, anytime, for example, let's go back to my symbol, you cut your finger, your body will repair, there's that demand. The body actually works all in coordination and says, listen, I need wound healing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, LDL levels have to go up. Yep. It has to go to the blood to transport towards that area. Okay, so now I'll talk about in, in a man situation. We know about the women's cycle problems, yeah. cycle issues. What about for a man? Why well, would a man need the cholesterol? Well, the one thing that we talked about in the first video, and I, I know it's a topic, I mean, for example, we deal with this every day in our office. It's very rough on the man, but the idea is the fact that we even talked about simply just a man, you know, getting an erection. Right. You know, the fact that you need hormones for that to happen. Okay. If they're driving these cholesterol levels down, actually, it's kind of interesting. I just had a talk with a wonderful patient just uh, last week, and as she started to recover from her Crohn's, what happens is, is they told her she was gonna get no help, it was progressively get worse, and then she brought up her husband, and he just talked about, we were talking about cholesterol levels, and she didn't even know that that was one of the effects until she went and looked up and said, listen, if you drive the cholesterol levels down so low, mm -hmm. and they were so proud because they got his cholesterol levels down to nothing, mm -hmm. yet the fact is, guess what? You know, they have absolutely no sex life now, because why? Right, everything's down. That's right, exactly. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> but so the cholesterol up, 
That's all right. night. That's right. All night. It's a, it's, that's a good one. And, but the idea is, that, and, and the reason why you have all these side effects is because you cannot manipulate true physiology levels. Mm -hmm. and, and think about it. The one thing that comes up, and you look even what they read about, what happens is they always say, well, look, it, it causes placking. No, that's not true. For example, the fact that this, you have to have a destroyed artery, which should be another topic, because, for example, cholesterol is not going to always build up in the most highly, highly um, pressured areas like an artery. Mm -hmm. If anything, it would build up more in a more a weak, like a vein, things like that. But okay. the artery has to be destroyed first, okay? okay. Even right. when you look at Lipitor, and it says very simple, you know, one thing that I, I, I love this too, no one ever knows this, because your blood test, if you are a risk factor, they want your cholesterol below 100. But did you ever know that anybody tell you that if you don't have any risk factors, let's say you don't have any um, history of family history uh, of heart disease or anything, you, your cholesterol levels shouldn't even be below 160. Okay. You never hear about that though. If your levels are 100 or higher, we got to drive it down. That's okay. not true. Even by their standards, if they wanted to keep cholesterol levels that psychotically low, yeah. you know, if a person has 160 and they have no family history, no um, uh, chance of having any kind of heart disease that way, okay. levels can be as high as 160 easily. All right. Well, let's recap here in the last couple of minutes that we have cholesterol. Essential for es life. Essential for life. Yeah. Not a bad word. Nope. Heart problems with it? Nope. Are, are there any, nothing that has to do with heart attacks or anything? No, and that's, that's one thing that I, I giggle because you ever look at all the whole research aspect, the lower you level your cholesterol, actually the higher heart problems come about. Hey, now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's yep. interesting. And definitely you got more information oh, yeah. at your website to, uh, to do that. That is thewellnessway.info. Any last words before we end this? Uh, just the fact that you said spend your time when a person goes through blood tests and goes through any tests with you to understand when you look at trying to change the body abnormally, there's going to be side effects. We have to learn to rebuild and repair a body on a regular basis, and that's what we do. Yeah. That's the great and part. And you throw off one cog in the system and everything goes off. And that's right. And side effects and... Mm -hmm. Not good. Well, thanks, Dr. Flynn. We appreciate your time. And uh, for Dr. Flynn, I'm Jason Stegas.